Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like subscribe button and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Pick up your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner today, voted the number one pre and post RV planning tool for the Denar community. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off today. You will have the planner not only on your computer at home, but also have the Currency Exchange Planner app on your phone that for a limited time is being included in the package at no extra cost to you. Everything you need to safeguard your exchange and plan your future finances will be in your hand. The banks are counting on you coming into your exchange over emotional and in disarray to take advantage of your newfound wealth. I always say it is better to be overprepared than not. Also you will sleep well at night and have extra peace of mind knowing if the IRS comes knocking at your door, you will have all pre and post RV documentation needed on hand when they request it, and they will, as you will have plenty of money at that point and Uncle Sam will be wanting every penny they can get out of you. Pick up your copy today and sleep better tomorrow, knowing all your notes serial numbers are recorded and all your finances are in order. I also highly recommend you register today with the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program. It is extremely important you protect your savings from the financial markets right now. Now is the time to get involved so your money is protected from the pending upcoming financial crash. It's free to register and you will be ahead of everyone else as de-dollarization occurs. Get yourself registered today and be a part of the Gold Savings Team of tomorrow. Gold is true real money and has withstood the tests of time. Once you deposit your hard-earned cash in the banks, it is their money not yours and they gamble your money every day. The banks are insolvent, broke, they are borrowing money from the Fed nightly in the form of repos because the banks no longer trust each other due to high risk, why should you trust them? The Carrot Bar program is the true future of money, it is a gold savings program that saves your money in the form of gold not risky fiat money. All fiat monies fail over time, this is a fact. The gold is in small increments so it is affordable for everyone not just the wealthy people anymore. Gold is literally the ultimate hedge against a market crash. You have the opportunity of a lifetime to get in on the ground floor of this program, do yourself a favor and start backing your hard-earned cash with gold. The Carrot Bar program and the Currency Exchange Planner work hand in hand with each other in protecting your family's finances. Get set up today, before it is too late. The link to the Carrot Bar Gold Savings Program and the Currency Exchange Planner are in the description drop down below. I encourage you, knowledge is power. Stay informed and stay alert. Get involved in both of these programs today and sleep better tomorrow. Who knows? Tomorrow may be too late. First article of interest for today. Iraq could risk dollar access, oil marketing if U.S. troops out. Iraq's government could lose access to its dollar account at the Federal Reserve if the Trump administration imposes sanctions, as President Donald Trump has threatened, said Majida Al-Tamimi, a lawmaker on the Iraqi parliament's financial committee. Tommy Mee on Saturday cited information discussed at a meeting with Iraq's central bank governor and financial officials. The U.S. could exert its influence on certain companies to press for a boycott or to halt activities with companies marketing Iraqi oil, she added. Iraq is OPEC's number two oil producer. Iraq's parliament passed on January 5 a non-binding resolution that empowered the nation's government to ask the foreign troops leave the country a measure aimed at the U.S. military. Hours later President Donald Trump threatened sanctions on Iraq, an ally, if American troops are forced out. If they do ask us to leave, if we don't do it in a very friendly basis, we will charge them sanctions like they've never seen before ever, Trump told reporters. It'll make Iranian sanctions look somewhat tame. Since then, the Trump administration has refused to recognize Baghdad's call to start negotiations on troop withdrawals. The U.S. State Department warned Iraq this week that it risks losing access to a government bank account at the New York Federal Reserve Bank if American forces are kicked out, Dow Jones reported on Saturday, citing Iraqi officials.
officials with the State Department didn't respond to requests for comment from Bloomberg News. Federal Reserve spokeswoman Michelle Smith declined to comment. The immediate effect of losing access to the account, which includes revenue from Iraq's oil sales, would be on the Iraqi dinar, negatively affecting its value versus U.S. dollar. Citing documents she's seen, Tamimi said that if Iraq had to convert its dealings away from the U.S. dollar it could face lengthy negotiations with European banks, for example, to convert to euro-denominated transactions. Iraq could be hampered from getting the cash it needs for its commercial purposes if sanctions were imposed by the U.S. and access to its central bank account restricted, and the country's creditors could also call in Iraqi debts, she said. Next article of interest. How much is the dollar? A question that preoccupies Iraqis after the killing of Soleimani. Concern and fear dominated the people in Iraq after the Iraqi dinar depreciated against the dollar after the assassination of America more than a week ago. The Iranian Quds Force Commander Qasem Soleimani and the deputy head of the Popular Mobilization Committee, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, and fears of a war between America and Iran on the Iraqi scene. And the last days witnessed a great demand for buying the dollar for fear of the collapse of the Iraqi currency especially after the threat of U.S. President Donald Trump a few days ago to impose economic sanctions on Iraq if the latter insisted on demanding the removal of American forces. A source in the Central Bank of Iraq told Al Jazeera that, that the bank was able to recover the value of the dinar after its decline during the past days, due to the reason for the decline due to the breakdown of official working hours in the past days and the tension in the Iraqi street indicating that the central bank pumped through the window of selling the dollar during three days $1.3 billion on the market. He stressed that the value of the dinar will return to normal within days, after the shock has been overcome by citizens, explaining that the central bank has sufficient funds from foreign exchange to meet the market need and maintain the dinar. Import stopped. During the last days in which the dinar fell, most merchants stopped importing goods, which caused a slight increase in goods, with the increasing demand by citizens to buy food to store them for fear of imposing an economic blockade on Iraq, evoking the blockade that the country experienced in the 90s of the last century. I will lose $25,000 if I buy the goods now from Turkey, because the $100 increased 4000 against the dinar, according to clothing dealer Dalatwani, justifying not importing new goods. Alatwani explained to Al Jazeera that, that his purchases of goods are in dollars and are sold in dinars, and therefore the process of transferring money currently leads to a great loss, considering that stopping work is much better, indicating that exchange companies now, when you buy them from the dollar, will be worth 1,245 dinars while they are buying the dollar the price is 1,210 dinars, which is a very big difference. It is noteworthy that Iraq enters daily from the sale of oil, more than $200 million, while the central bank sells the dollar in the window of currency sale five days a week, between $150 million, $300 million per day, to cover the demand for the dollar before merchants, money transfers and others. Challenges. But Saad al Kalani, the owner of an exchange in the city of Fallujah, told Al Jazeera Net that most exchange companies stopped working because working in this circumstance needs a great risk, indicating that the central bank's pumping of the dollar was to cover imports while there is a very small percentage that went to local market. He noted that the coming days will witness a fluctuation in the exchange rate of the dollar, as a result of political and security conditions, while the financial and economic expert, Matham Levy, said in his talk to Al Jazeera that, that the Iraqi economy will face many challenges during the current year as a result of developments in the region that will lead to increased demand for the dollar. He stressed that the Central Bank of Iraq is currently working to restore stability to the economy by maintaining the value of the dinar, and not creating two prices for the dollar because of increased speculation and an increase in the demand for the dollar, noting that the Central Bank will keep the exchange rate as it has a good stock of the dollar. In the meantime, Nabi al-Marsumi, a professor of economics at the University of Basra, told Al Jazeera Net, 
The decline of the dinar exchange rate against the dollar in recent times has not been linked to an economic crisis. But this decline has been linked to the state of panic linked to the developments in Iraq and the region. He pointed out that most of the Iraqis transferred their savings from the dinar to the dollar, which created a strong demand for the dollar, which led to a rise in its price against the dinar, noting that large smuggling of the dollar takes place to Iran to cover the Iraqi merchants' imports of Iranian goods due to the embargo imposed on the Iranian banking system and preventing it from dealing in dollars. Next article of interest. Dr. Matham Al-Aeb, Possible Repercussions of post Soleimani Crisis On an exchange rate Iraqi dinar, the ethnic economy in general will face more pressure in the year 2020, due to the political tensions in the country and represented with the popular protests in late 2019, which culminated in the death of Soleimani and the engineer, with Baghdad airport operation at the hands of the American forces is familiar this year 2020, which portends a lot of pressure on the economy ethnicity, mainly burdened by problems of mismanagement, corruption and dependence excessive single resource. The Central Bank of Iraq is expected to face operational pressures a large daily basis and his administration did not increase the currency in order to continue the preservation the exchange rate should be stabilized whenever possible and prevent fluctuations large and it can lead to economic instability and be affected the purchasing power of individuals. After the Central Bank witnessed a stable stage in the exchange rate for the period 2017-2019, as there were no fluctuations between the official exchange rate and the market only within the limits of 1% and the exchange rate stabilized at 1,200 dinar per dollar, which is the target price, but the protest popularity in the central and southern regions in late 2019 and the inflection acute seen in the beginning of the year 2020 as a result of Soleimani's death and the engineer, Entering into a series of threats and mutual promises the airstrikes on the ethnic scene, all this heralds fears return to the era of the existence of two exchange rates, both at the grassroots level or at the level of elites and academics. Among the most important factors that are expected to be a stress factor on the central bank during the coming period. 1. The decrease in the dollar prices against foreign currencies as a result of the development geopolitics in the Middle East and the effects of decline have continued demani rial exchange rate, which creates pressure on demand external to the dollar and speculation it. 2. Pessimistic expectations that increase the demand for dollars in escape of the dinar. 3. Increase the daily speculation operations on the dollar internally, in order to achieve quick profits, after the ignition, post-crisis so limani, who is expected to witness escalatory events and statements on a daily level. 4. Weak confidence in the existence of a quick exit from post Suleimani crisis raging in the region. 5. Expectations of uncertainties in the political process will continue within the, the race between the different parties and the failure to formulate common positions develop the ethnic interest is in front of it. The Central Bank of Iraq is possible in the short term the average will continue to maintain the stability of the exchange rate the dinar is against the dollar, and the market is not expected to see any improvement excessively between the official and market exchange rates, due to its rate tension with high reserves it can be gradually lost in exchange for conservation exchange rate, what can be called, reserve versus exchange, as not the Central Bank is expected to restrict its dollar reserves, restriction the offer, in front of the request continued to be requested, especially since the horizon has not witnessed a crisis that leads to low oil prices globally. Certainly, the factors mentioned above will lead to fleeing the Iraqi dinar toward the dollar or other assets then, the management of the more currency will again be in a position to defend a price to spend in front of the public instead of the current relaxation position. This is also on the pressures that the executive powers can exert legislative will have to provide more liquidity in order to meet the requirements the political and military expected against the background of the current crisis, and the most dangerous part of these requirements should be outside the official budget frameworks and their numbers, and the central bank had to fulfill them, which could mean payment toward a return to more politicization of the central bank's policy and breaking its independence again.
which is reminiscent of how long this wall was demolished independence in the years 2015 to 2017, following the double shock, low oil prices and ISIS entry. As the size of borrowing has reached the government from the central bank to 16 trillion ethnic dinars, overlooked the government party for the rest of it. Next article of interest. Deputy for al Fatah, the President of the Republic bears responsibility for delaying the selection of an alternative to Abdul Mahdi. The MP, from the alliance of al Fath Mohammed Karim, held the President of the Republic. Baram Sali, responsible for delaying the selection of an alternative to Adel Abdel Mahdi as Prime Minister, indicating that the current period needs to be speedy in selecting a new candidate to run the country. Al Baldawi said in a statement to the information that many of the names were circulated in the past days, but there was no agreement on them to present one of them as a candidate for Prime Minister. And what happened is more recent as it pushes the political bloc significantly to expedite the resolution of the issue. He added that the political blocs did not set a specific period to resolve the candidate for prime minister, stressing the need for the commitment of the President of the Republic to the Constitution regarding the assignment of the candidate for prime minister. He explained that the President of the Republic created a rift in the Constitution regarding the selection of a candidate for prime minister and therefore Baram Saleh bears the greatest responsibility by delaying the selection of battle of Joel Mahdi. Al we pointed out the importance of the current period and its need for a strong prime minister who can lead the country and implement the important decisions that are in the interest of Iraq until the elections are held. Next article of interest. Parliamentary finance sets the only way to send the 2020 budget. The Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed on Sunday, that there is no legal way out to send the general federal budget for the year 2020 except by forming a new government, indicating that the current government will proceed to spend operational funds, one on twelve, until the ratification of the First Amendment to the Financial Management Law. The committee's reporter, Ahmed al-Safar, said in a statement to information that there is no legal basis for sending the 2020 budget by the caretaker government, noting that the budget is related to the language of numbers and the caretaker government is responsible for daily spending only. Al Safar added, the acceleration of the ratification of the financial management law, which the House of Representatives voted on yesterday, will give the government the reinvigoration of investment projects until a new government is formed. The House of Representatives voted during its regular session, held yesterday, Saturday, on the law of the First Amendment to the law of the Federal Financial Administration. Next article of interest. An economist warns of the dangers of lifting protection from Iraqi money abroad. Economic expert Kusay Safwan warned, on Sunday, of the dangers of lifting protection for Iraqi funds abroad pointing out that Iraq should diversify into foreign currencies and keep its money and bonds away from the risks of economic war. Safwan said in a statement to the information that, facing the American Treasury and its penalties in the event of lifting the protection system on Iraqi funds will expose the country to the threats of creditors, especially that Iraq has $32 billion in Treasury shares in America, and once the protection is lifted it will be threatened. He added that Iraqi funds outside of America can be frozen and creditors demand their dues, and therefore the finance ministry is supposed to try to reduce the risks of imposing these sanctions by converting them into assets and bringing them into the local environment in order to avoid the risks of the American embargo. He pointed out that Iraq is supposed to avoid sanctions by diversifying foreign currencies and not neglecting the financial protection system in Washington pointing out that Iraqi monetary fiscal policy is free in the process of withdrawing funds in Washington, but in practice, Iraq is betting on the strength of the dollar and the stability of American bond prices and the process transferring the cash reserve to another environment may indicate that the monetary fiscal policy has begun to withdraw from the dollar economic environment and this will expose Iraq to economic risks. He stressed that the Iraqi economy is dollar and therefore it is assumed that there will be a reduction in the severity of tensions, 
as it is possible to take advantage of the gold reserves to reduce the risks of threatening the Iraqi economy through trading in this mineral. Next article of interest. A deputy warns of great economic collapse due to the escalating budget deficit. Member of Parliamentary Committee on Economy and Investment Nada Shaker Jadad warned, on Sunday, of a major economic collapse due to an annual rise in the public budget deficit, calling on politicians to stay away from rivalries and think of easy and smooth laws to foreign investment. Jadad said in a statement to the information that the government's talk about the existence of a deficit of 48 trillion dinars in the budget for the current year is catastrophic and the reason is due to poor financial management by previous and current governments, noting that the continued high financial deficit in the budgets will lead to an economic collapse suddenly, he cannot be rescued from any government. She added that there are no political blocks in front of but one solution, which is to avoid political rivalry and think about legislating easy and smooth laws for foreign investment, demanding the next government to activate the sectors of industry, agriculture and housing as they are the only way out to confront the economic collapse. It is noteworthy that the Parliamentary Finance Committee revealed a deficit in the 2020 budget that exceeds 48 trillion dinars indicating that operating expenses have begun to expand at the expense of investment. Next article of interest. Iraq delivers the first batch of oil to China in accordance with the strategic agreement. The deputy for the rule of law, Nassif, on Sunday, revealed that Iraq delivered 100,000 barrels to the Chinese side as the first payment within the economic agreement between the two parties calling on Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi to attend and provide a comprehensive clarification to the House of Representatives on the agreement for support her. Nassif said in a statement to the information that Iraq delivered the first batch of its oil yesterday to the Chinese side within the economic strategic agreement between the two countries that entered into force. She added that all the provinces have begun to hand over hundreds of strategic projects to the government that will be discussed and handed over to Chinese companies to implement them urgently within the agreement. She indicated that the economic agreement is very important and Iraq needs it, especially with the file of removing American forces from Iraq and the conflict in the region. She called on the Prime Minister's bleeding to attend the parliament and discuss the agreement and clarify its importance and purpose as well as vote on it if it is a strategic agreement from Parliament and clarify the mechanisms for implementing the Grand Fauport project, which is the most prominent point within the agreement. Want to see future posts? Hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit the Denarian blog periodically and find me on Facebook, so you get the news in real time as it breaks throughout the day. Download your copy of the Currency Exchange Planner right now, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool made by Denarian for Denarians. Check it out today, the link is in the description below. Gain the upper hand that the banks don't want you to have. They are counting on you to come in confused, in disarray and not organized. With the Currency Exchange Planner on your side, the banks don't have a chance at pulling the wool over your eyes. Use the promo code, the denarian, and get 25% off at checkout. Also, get on board the blockchain gold savings carrot bar program today. You don't have to wait until you're filthy rich to get involved. It's free to join, and the program was made so anyone can save in gold and avoid the repercussions of the possible upcoming market crash. One of the true forms of money away from the fiat system, gold. Protect your family's wealth today. I would not recommend something I do not stand behind and believe in 110%. Did you ever hear the term, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? The links are in the description below get involved now, knowledge is power, over and out for now, the Denarian.